Hello viewers and welcome to Will's World. I am Will and this is my world. So as many of you know, I have been building a roller coaster park with the help of a mod called the Expanded Rails mod, which explains these strange looking rails that you don't find in normal Minecraft right here. It adds in a whole bunch of different railroad tracks that you can use to make all kinds of cool roller coasters and stuff. And so I have been doing exactly that. For the past two episodes, I have been building this giant roller coaster that goes way up into the mountains. It starts going backwards and it zips all the way through the mountain and it comes out and there, and there is a big drop. In today's video, we are going to be finishing what happens after the big drop. We're just going to be coming, uh, doing a lot of fun little quick ride right back to the end. And if we finish that in enough time, I'm going to start building some decorations around this ride, which I've decided is probably going to be called a uh, mountaineer, seeing as you do hike up all the way to the mountain and travel around inside of it. That's not what a mountaineer does. He just hikes all the way up. But it could be a mountaineer expedition gone wrong. So whatever. If you guys like that name, you can vote to keep it. Or if you still uh, want another name for it, you can, um, you can uh, still offer up names because I'm still taking any names. I've got a few good ones, like uh, the Death Dragon and the Gravel Destroyer. <laughs> if you saw the last video, uh, I made a lot of jokes about destroying gravel and how much I hated uh, having to build around gravel in the mountain. So someone commented, Gravel Destroyer. Um, so I thought that was a funny name. We might go with that one. I like Mountaineer though, just because it fits the mountain theme. And this right here is Valentino. He is back. He has not been in one of my videos for kind of a while, so I decided just to let him hang out and watch me build this one. He's been hanging out up in this tree for a while. I don't really know how he got up there. But, um, you know, he's maybe, just like we like to climb mountains, he likes to climb trees. Uh, what do you call someone who likes to climb trees? A tree? Ear? A, a child, probably, would be the easiest. So, um, if you've not seen the last episode, I have changed the tracks in here quite a good bit, just to make it uh, a little bit well-timed, timed better, so that when you're coming here, you really do, like, get all the way up, and then you slow down, and then you, like, fall right down here, then you'll fall down onto these rails, which will shoot you down here, and... I've dug out a tunnel of where I want to place the trail, so uh, we're going to do that right now. What is going to basically happen in this video, we're just going to build kind of, not exactly a straight track all the way back to the beginning, but more or less, uh, by the way, if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, these are all the different types of rails I'm working with. Some of them are just pretty, like these wools, and some of them have special properties. Right now we're using the obsidian rail, which um, it just looks good, it's just black. It can. It does have a special property. It's able to survive explosions, but we're not gonna have any explosions on this ride because that's a bit dangerous. I don't know if I'm ready to work with explosions quite yet. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll have like a TNT coaster or something fun like that. Um, as of right now, no, this is not going to have any explosions in it because that's a little too dangerous for me to be working around right now. Since I've worked, uh, this is the third episode on this, so this is going to have an, a full hour of screen time, I guess, which is a lot, and I've worked on this ride a lot off camera, uh, just a lot, because I've had a lot of problems with making it go uh, up the ramp and then coming back down when it goes backwards. If you guys have seen the last episode, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the last episode, uh, you really need to watch it or else you are going to be totally lost. So, oh, there's a gravel. This is why I hate uh, gravel, because every time I like go to break a block, it all just falls down, and it's... It was more frustrating last time. I was having more of a problem with it than I am right now. But, in case you didn't know, that's why I don't like gravel. So, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I got off track, got a little bit off topic again, so uh, the ride is basically, this is kind of the ending of the ride. It's gonna, you're gonna do the big drop, and then you're gonna fall, and then you're gonna come straight over here. I'm imagining you're probably going pretty fast at this point. Uh, I don't know the exact physics of it right now, and if we have enough time, I can test it out just to make sure it all works properly. But that's not really my uh, goal right now. Right now, I just want to have it finished, I want to have it decorated, and if it doesn't work exactly right, then, we, then I'll just finish that later. And I'll show you in the next episode what I finished and what I got done, and then we can finally move on to another roller coaster, because this one has taken uh, a lot of our time. Luckily, I think that this one is really cool. Um, I mean, it goes up into the mountain, it goes through the mountain, backwards. It's got a lot of cool stuff going for it, so I think it's it fit, it's fitting that it has a, a full three episodes of the uh, of the series dedicated just to this ride, because it is, it's a pretty great ride. And by the way, I'm not gonna go that far down. I'm just gonna have it um, 
gonna have it ride right above the surface. I can put the sand back so the land doesn't look all crazy. And we're gonna just have it ride. Maybe in and out of these trees would be a fun idea. Um, okay, yeah, let, let's do that, let's do that. We're gonna have it go down a little bit then. A little, oh, that's the wrong block. Ooh, all right, we're gonna have it go down right here. Um, maybe I should, I should get rid of this stuff. And then, ooh, how are we gonna do this? Okay, I will get rid of one of these trees. I'll get rid of this little tree, because this big tree is really cool looking. And those leaves will, I think they'll just disappear uh, after time passes, right? Unless because they're connected to this other tree, they just won't decay, and that wouldn't be good. I'll just destroy what I can. So it'll come down right here, ride through the trees, maybe do a bit of a dive right there, and come around this tree and go up to this hole. This is the hole that I've designated. Uh, we're gonna go straight through there and then we'll pop up right back at the start of the ride. So everything's gonna work out perfectly. Now what I wanna do is, um, I think I'll have this happen so that we can come straight into the mountain and then we will um, we'll ride down along with the mountain as if we're just walking up the mountain not cutting through it, not going under it or anything. We're just gonna have it. We are. We are gonna cut through it a little bit right here. Whoops. All right, I was wrong. But um, there we go. We're just gonna ride right up here into the mountain. Um, what? Uh, where are we gonna go from here? Um, which way? Should we go all the way around this tree, or should we cut off and go? Yeah, we're just gonna cut off and go right here. We don't want to go all the way around the tree. That's just uh, extra time wasted. So we're gonna come down right here. Oh, should we go all the way down? I don't think we need to go all the way down. But we're gonna go to here. Um, okay, and then the two tracks will meet up about right here. All right, perfect. Um, should we, uh, should I bother go down? Yeah, I do need to go down, cause, or else we won't be able to fit right there. So we're gonna go Back down right here. I'm getting a, I'm getting a Skype message. Hold on. I need to exit out of Skype completely because I can't have it on while I'm recording a video. That would be silly, right? Ha ha! Fun. We're having so much fun here. Wow. Okay. Um. Let me place down all these tracks. Hopefully, uh, those are those are diamond rails back there. Uh. Once you hit the, I'm sorry. Once you once you fall, I'm okay. I'm, I need to completely get out of Skype. Hold on, everyone. I'll be right back. Very sorry about this. All right. So I do not know how Skype works, but I went invisible, and then I was still able to get messages, which I think defeats the purpose of being invisible, right? All right. So uh, I ended up. I uh, I just signed out of Skype. Hopefully, um, someone sending me a message won't cause me to sign back in and once again ruin my recording session. Um, I don't know. Hopefully that is not the case, but um, I, I think I'm good for right now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have to stop the recording anymore. That would be kind of a bummer. Um, so uh, hopefully we can just finish this as usual. So enough about me and my problems uh, being too popular and whatever, having people always calling me. Um, let's, okay, we, we have come out the, uh, the building, not the building, the mountain. I'm building. Not, I'm not building a mountain. Where am I? What am I doing here? So, okay. We have the beginning platform coming out right here. And what I want to do is, I don't want it to have to dive back down again. So, I'm going to build from here all the way out here. And then, we're just going to have it quickly drop down out of the mountain and come back. And there we go. Um, as soon as we finish placing down all the rails, we will have officially finished the Mountaineer, the Mountain Coaster. Um, that's, I have been calling it the Mountain Coaster for the past like couple of weeks or however long I've been working on this. Um, so having it have a real name feels kind of weird. I'm gonna miss calling it the Mountain Coaster, but the Mountaineer is a pretty cool name too. So I think this is gonna work out. Oh, you know what I'm gonna have to do? This is gonna be going really fast. So I'm gonna have to slow it down by putting some ice rails um, uh, towards the end. So um, what I'm just gonna do right now is I am going to, oh, let me get in here. This is where the big drop off is. So I'm going to get out a minecart. Uh, where is that? There, there, there it is. I've got one. 
I've got one. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to just drop down here and I'm going to ride the rest of the ride and see how fast I'm going. See if I need to slow it down or speed it up at any part. Uh, so yeah, there's not a whole lot going on right here. It's just the final travel to the end. Um, I think it's going pretty fast. So yeah, it's going a little too fast right here. Because uh, it's going to... Oh, uh oh It's about to go up on the ride again. Hey, Valentino. Um, Alright, this is... Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a chain rail. So it would have carried the cart all the way t to the top. And I would not have been able to catch it um, if I had just uh, let it kept on going. Let it kept... I don't know English. I don't know how grammar works, you guys. Um, let's see. So... What I want to do, do I want to have it, was, what do you guys think? Um, I think when it was going through here, it was going fast enough. I don't want it to slow down anymore, but I do want it to kind of slow down uh, as it's going through here, and I want it to kind of gently ride to the end. So um, instead of like ending really quickly and you know jerking you to the back of the seat, well, I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is maybe add the ice rails, which are the brakes basically. Um, along here, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I think that's a pretty good number for it to be. Um, I don't, I think it's 15 ice rails in a row is going to slow you to nearly a stop, and so eight might be good enough for us to like smoothly ride on through. Okay, uh oh, I messed up, I messed up big time. Okay, so I'm gonna. Try this again, we're gonna start on the front rail, and then, yeah, there we go. And we are going fast, going very fast. This is fun, this is a fun ending to the ride, where we're just uh, kind of cruising. We're going pretty fast, but we're still just cruising uh, all the way back here. We're coming up, and we got a good bit of speed going, and now the ice rails are going to slow us down. Yes, they've slowed us down a little bit too much, but at least they did their job. Oh wait, no, because we're gonna go, gonna get another little speed boost right here. Alright, um, I do think we're going too slow. Uh, we don't need to be going that slow. And instead of going back and testing it again, since I've already done that twice in a row, I'm just going to get rid of two of these, and I think that'll probably be fine. And what I want to get to next is I want to start building uh, what the entrance is going to look like. Um, so uh, what I'm thinking about doing is making a giant tent. And so we're going to have this tent here. Oh, hey Valentino, he doesn't want to watch me uh, with the tent, I guess. He would rather turn around and stare at the tree. I don't know. So we're going to build a big tent, you know, how uh, uh, mountain hikers, they always make their base in a big tent. So what we want to do is maybe it'll come back into the tent right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, th and then it'll exit the tent right here. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Um, so we're going to build out maybe three blocks on each side. That should be good. Um, we should make, yeah, this is going to be a pretty big tent if we go through on each side. And if we start building the tent right on the edge, right about here, then we'll have two blocks of space in the middle, and that'll be that'll be enough room. Yeah, that'll be enough room to uh, do stuff. So let's see. I'm gonna have to destroy these trees too. Uh, so let me just drop uh, drop down and cut down the whole trunk, and then I'll cut up here, chop down the trunk. Uh oh, I think there might be. Yeah, there's. No, there might be extra logs around here, and if there are, then that means that uh, the leaves won't decay. And I want to make sure that the leaves will decay. I actually don't think there's any more logs around here. It's just a whole lot of leaves. So, uh, those will get rid of themselves. Uh, they'll drop saplings and apples. I'm going to throw that down there, just to pretend like we're seeing more progress than we actually are. And I guess I'll use some white wool as the tent. And I'm going to go up one, two, three, um, and then... Out one, uh, out another, and then finally out one. And is that on, right on top of the rails? Yes. And that'll look good as a tent, I think. Maybe if I did it like this, that'd make it look better like a tent. Um, or if I just build up right there, and then, oh, that's, no, that's too high, I think. Yeah, that's too big of a tent. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have it, I need it to be three blocks tall, because I don't want your head like uh, poking up against the roof or anything. Because um, it's a tent, it's very fragile, it's, it's simply made of wool. Um, it can be torn down pretty easily, so we don't want that to happen. So we want to make sure that you have plenty of space to walk around. And I think, I think once I build it out farther, it'll look better. Um, so I'm going to build up these walls. 
uh, build them up about, yeah, we're gonna build them up this high. And I hope that this will look good as soon as it's done. As soon as I finish the top row right here, I'm gonna come back and look around at it. And I, yeah, I think that'll look like a good tent. Uh, where's the middle? It's the middle right here. Yes, and that'll be the entrance. Maybe we'll have it a little bit bigger. And um, we'll have, um, all right, we'll have like iron bars and that will be like the zipper for the tent. Hopefully that looks, oh, hopefully that looks okay. And I think it will, I think it will. Uh, then we'll have like the entrance be right here and we're gonna probably build up some grass and um, some dirt and maybe some, just to make it look like this is a natural hill that it's sitting on top of, not just a floating tent. Cause that would be a bit silly. Uh, we don't want that to happen. So we are going to just continue on building the tent right here and Hopefully we can finish it. We don't have a whole lot of time left, actually. Uh, not a whole lot of time at all. But I think we'll be able to finish this one tent. Then we can go over and uh, probably give the thing one final ride. Because um, I've tested the inside of the mountain many times, changed many things to it. And I really, really like the way it came out. It's definitely my favorite one that's in the park so far. Um, however, I do have some really, really good ideas well, that's a lie. I do have some really, really good suggestions that I have um, pretended are my own ideas because I like them so much. Uh, no, don't worry. Whenever the time comes to build the suggestions, I will make sure whoever suggested them got full credit or whatever for the ideas. And um, uh, episode 10, I think, is when I'm going to start building the, the one that I like the most. So, all right. For the entrance to the tent, maybe we should have it like this. Um, and then some zipper right here. Yes, yes, I... Alright, yeah, I really like the way that this turned out. Um, I might add a little bit of... Oh, actually, no, I don't. I really wish that maybe it were built up higher right here. Hmm. No, because that doesn't even look like a tent at all. You know what? This is, this is good. This is good. This is fine. I like this. Uh, I'm okay with this. If I think of any ways to change it, I can do that later off camera and just show you in the next video. Um, but for now, I really like the way that this turned out. So we've got a big tent, we've got a big roller coaster that goes up into the mountains, and it's it's really great. I'm really excited about this one. This is this is definitely my favorite one so far. Uh, so yes, let's see. We can. Uh, when you enter, you will enter the tent right here. Maybe we can put some kind of decorations right here some kind of like a hiking materials or whatever, probably just chests and a furnace and uh, stuff like that. And when you just get on, you're just gonna press W and then once you hit the power rails, you're free to just ride up and then the chain will uh, take you all the way up to the mountain gracefully. Uh, this is very nice. Let's wave bye to Valentino. Bye, bye Valentino. Can I, yes, bye. Is it a good idea to try to wave to him? All right, let's just, Let's just wait to I can't even see him anymore. All right, and uh, so we're going down halfway through. I just built this because I thought uh, a long chain ride would be a little bit boring. So that right there, uh, what I could do is build another tent right there and it would be kind of like a, a second base, uh, like halfway up the mountain. And maybe I could build another tent up here and then maybe like go through the tent at this part because this part's kind of boring and go through the tent. And then finally something goes wrong and we're suddenly thrust into the mountain Oh, all right, I do want to, I, there's a torch down there that I want to take off. Oh, and we almost went off, but we're going backwards, uh-oh. Oh, but we're taking a new route. Oh my goodness, it's so scary. We're going into the darkness, and then there's a torch because we're in a mine shaft, and then we're going through all the darkness, and then we're going to turn, and there's lava and diamonds. Did you see the diamonds? And more lava, and we're going up, and we're slowing down, and uh-oh. Oh, big drop, we're going to die, and we're all going to die. Just kidding. We're safe, and we're going back home because that's where we belong and we're going all the way back and we're going really fast and this is fun though because you wouldn't want to have a slow ride all the way back to the start and we're slowing down right here oh this is a good comfortable speed oh yes I like this a lot all right six ice rails was the way to go for me all right and then we're back and that was it that was our mountain coaster three episodes we spent on that and oh what a three episodes it was and I think it was totally worth it I had a blast building this coaster this is the best one how about you Valentino did you enjoy it I think he did. By the way, he will refuse to look at it because it's too, uh, too beautiful for his precious little eyes to see. So anyway, um, in the next episode, I think I will, I will be building a parkour coaster, uh, which basically there's a type of rail that allows your cart to jump off 
of off the side of a buck and jump like way over so I'll be able to make him like jump over the river and maybe do some parkour around. I don't know exactly how I'm going to pull it off, but I think it's going to be a great one. So look out really soon in the next couple of days for parkour, the roller coaster. Uh, as for right now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and um, that's basically it. Uh, my name is Will Dangerbond. Uh, like this video, don't forget, and subscribe for more episodes of Let's Build a Roller Coaster in my Roller Coaster Park Will's World. And you can like download this mod or something in the description. Um, anyway, um, that's all. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.